Nah, no, bro, bro's outstanding, man. He's unbelievable. Uh, just watching his technique, watching him work every day, you would think he was a five, six year vet. I think he's going to be a superstar. I think they're all important, but uh, the third preseason is more like a mock game. Uh, starters are in a little bit longer. Um, we get to go out there and play and uh, show all the hard work we've been putting in. Was there a difference out here with Sean not here today? Was it, was, is there any noticeable difference in practice? No, not at all. I think Joe, Joe Vitt steps in. He does a phenomenal job at being the interim head coach. And uh, not really, man. We're still we're out here competing against other players, not Sean. Can, can you talk about how these, how these guys have had to step up, like, like Brown or being out, Kenny? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, know, you missing a little time. Uh, Keenan missing some time. No, it's good for them, man. We got to establish depth. Uh, guys are going to go go down throughout the year. You got to have guys that can step in and make an impact. Uh, no matter what age you are, what year in the league you're in, we need we need help. It's a long season, 16 games, so I mean, we're going to need everybody. When they're moving coaches around from sideline to the box and tanker and whatnot, does, does that change anything for you guys on the field? Like, who you get the calls from? Really? Not really. Um, not at all, man. I mean, we make adjustments during the game, but you don't really you don't freak out. I mean, we watch the tape after the game. We don't really do too much. You know, they kind of motivate us, gives us tips and clues. But when we're out there, man, we're on our own. Kenny, how uh, do you improve as a tackler? That was one forte coming in uh, to the league. You can't tackle. You didn't have any missed tackles your rookie year, but in last season, you had a few. Uh, how do you practice that when you can't really tackle in practice to get better? Just your technique. Uh, we do a lot of tackling drills this year. But DA always says, there's no missed tackles in this defense. The good teams don't eliminate eliminate open field tackles. Everybody's running to the ball. So uh, I think the way we're practicing now, those situations where you're where you're one on one, there shouldn't there, there shouldn't be too many if you're playing good defensive ball. And for me, like I said, getting my explosion back in my ankle, getting my my legs back underneath me, that's all changed now. That was part of the big reason last year when I hit guys, they weren't dropping. Now I've, I've got that power back. Did y'all need that confidence boost or, or just to, to perform the way you did against Tom Brady in that, in that game last week and the three and outs? I mean, was that a... I mean, that was good, man, uh, especially with those guys stepping up, all the younger guys, because they, they're the ones that did it. They went out there, um, played their hearts out, and executed. They did everything the coaches asked them, man. It's good, man. It's it's good to see. Can, can you talk about your comfort level in year three and just kind of where you are in it, as opposed to maybe where you were maybe this time or a year or two years ago? I feel good, man. My body feels good. Um, mentally and physically, I'm a lot further along than I was last year. Um, at this point in the time, last year, I was I was limping to practice and limping after practice. So, I mean, right now, I got a little pep in my steps. So I feel great. What's the mental part of that? So mentally, you feel like you're further along where? With DA, I mean, he's came in. He's uh, he's taught us the minute details of this defense. Uh, he works with the safeties very closely. He works with me closely. He told me before uh, this all got started that uh, that he was going to work with me and push me to be the best. And that's what he expects out of me and nothing less. Danny, Coach Bitt just talked about how this defense is like owned what happened last year. It's only getting better. What does that mean to you guys? I mean, just taking responsibility for what happened, each and every player, knowing they got to get better, knowing that we are, whatever, last in the league, and then we got a lot of work to do. Uh, but we're working towards it. we got the right guys, I think, in the building now, all the way from the free agents to the guys we drafted. And I'm excited about this group. You guys not having, you know, going to the season really having not played together much as a unit. I mean, you know, as far as who? Like, you know, Browner, like yeah. Bird. I mean, yeah, you, the guys who are really going to be there, mm -hmm. you, guys, you, you guys haven't really had a preseason together at this point. I mean, I mean, like I said, with, uh, with uh, Bird, we got a whole, a whole offseason OTAs with uh, Browner. We know he can ball. He's the vocal leader of our group. I'm really not worried about those guys. They've been pro they've proven in this league for a long time. And back when me and Keenan first joined the team, with Malcolm and Roman, we weren't together for a year either, and we were ranked number four defense, top two pass defense. So I was not worried about it. Is there maybe a silver lining to that too? That some of the young guys get more reps, you can see what they can do. And they need to contribute. Uh, when you draft guys like Kika I and and Ste Stefan, I mean, they need to contribute now. I mean, that's the reason why you're drafted that high. That's what was expected of me when I came in, and I expect the same type of impact out of them. I meant, I meant like in the secondary, like you get some guys in there because guys are out. Some of the younger guys get more reps. They yeah. Grow and yeah, definitely. I think Stanley's stepping up. He's making plays, and he's going against uh, Brandon Cooks every day, who's who's really, really good. And he's making plays on him, so I think he can do it when the lights come on, too. Y'all saw him more than we did last year. I mean, how, how far has uh, Stanley 
He got he, he's got better. Everybody knew he was a little raw coming in. He didn't he hasn't played that many years at corner. You got to think he got switched to Nebraska. He's got the length. He's faster than what people think. Uh, he's really athletic and he's physical, man. Y'all gonna be surprised by this cat. You have some uh, drafted rookies who are expected to make an impact on the defense this year. What does it take for them to kind of get up to speed uh, right away as rookies and have that impact? I mean, just pay attention, uh, work hard, don't say much, um, and just 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 be on your stuff. Uh, I mean, you, you got to work hard to make this team. The uh, NFL isn't easy, man. This 53-man roster, there, there's there's few spaces. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you, man. Oh.